so in my previous video i installed nginx on my raspberry pi to serve a website on my network and devices connected to my network could access that website by entering the pi's ip address in their browser in this video we will go behind the scenes of how the browser communicates with the web server what protocols are used to connect and transfer data and how data travels on the internet in the form of packets and by the end of the video i will use wireshark which is a packet analyzer to show you in real time how the communication happens between the browser and the web server okay so once nginx is installed on your server it starts listening for incoming http request made from web clients Devices communicate with each other on the internet via HTTP, the Hypertext Transfer Protocol, which is the core mechanism for exchanging hypertext documents on the web. Now HTTP is a request and response protocol based on a client and server architecture, where the client is the browser sending a HTTP request message asking for a resource on the web server. and the web server then responds to the request by sending a http response message but before any http request is sent a tcp connection has to be established between the two computers tcp or the transmission control protocol is a transport protocol that is responsible for connection between devices and reliable data transfer between them and also establishes a full duplex connection that allows data to be transferred bidirectionally and provides error checking to check if the data sent is received correctly a tcp connection is established via a three way handshake and how the three way handshake happens is that when the client sends a synchronized packet to the server asking it to start a conversation and then the server respond by sending a syn ack packet or a synchronized acknowledge packet stating that the server is ready to connect to the client so let's synchronize do you acknowledge and then the client replies with a acknowledgement packet to the server saying that i have acknowledged your request to connect and that's how a handshake is completed and a connection is made and data is transmitted between the client and the server right now data travels across the internet in packets but a packet is just a small piece of a larger data so let's say you are sending a picture to your friend what happens is that that picture is cut up into smaller pieces and those pieces are the internet packets carrying your data and then those packets are reassembled at their destination upon arrival a packet is divided into two sections the header and the data section the header contains a assortment of information like the ip version the length of the packet uh, the identification the header checksum flags transport the source and the destination ip we will talk about that later and the data section obviously contains the data that is being transported Now let's do a quick recap of what we have learned so far. Before any data is exchanged between the client and the server, a TCP connection has to be made by a three-way handshake and TCP being a transport protocol means that HTTP rides on top of TCP and HTTP then carries that data between the browser and the web server. Think of TCP as a, the bidirectional bridge that connects the browser and the web server and HTTP is the delivery truck carrying your data across the bridge. Now I will use Wireshark to demonstrate how these protocols work and how the connection is made by capturing these packets in real time. So let's start. Installing Wireshark in Ubuntu is simple. Just open up your terminal and type sudo apt install wireshark. Press enter and type in your password and the installation will begin.
okay so now that wireshark has been installed in our system now from our terminal we can just type in wireshark and wireshark will open now wireshark captures packets on your network interface a interface is a point of connection between the computer and the network and it can either be physical like a ethernet port or it can be a virtual port like a web server which listens on port number 80 for incoming http request we'll talk about more on ports later now our interface interface over here is the enp5s0 and if you take a look at the right side of the interface name you can see there is a straight line going that means that no uh, network packets are being captured on this interface because we need to give Wireshark permission uh, to allow non super users to capture packets on this interface. Now there are two ways that you can do this either you can type in sudo Wireshark and it will uh, open Wireshark with uh, sudo permissions granted and you can see uh, traffic is being captured and the other way is that you can allow non-super users to capture packets uh, on this network to type in just uh, to do this just type in this command sudo dpkg reconfigure wireshark common and when i press enter we will be prompted to a dialog box asking asking us that do we want to allow non-super users to be able to capture packets uh, because this can be a security issue so you need to keep that in mind but um, for the sake of this video we, we are going to go with the yes okay and just um, now just type in wireshark without the sudo command and wireshark will open to allow non super users to capture traffic uh, you can see a lot of traffic uh, going in and out of a network so it can be hard to find a particular connection that you might be looking for um, for us we are going to be looking for the communication between our browser and the web server so we're going to filter out everything extra and capture only what we need we have our web server up and running so let's request the website and monitor the network to do this we're going to enter a command over here in the uh, filter tab which will only capture traffic going in and out of our server so, to, so we're going to type in ip addr equals equals followed by the ip address of the browser and we're going to specify the port that we are going to be listening on Okay, now let's open up our web browser and type in the IP address of the web server. Alright. As you can see in the protocol section, there are three TCP packets sent. And these packets are the SYN, SYNAC and Acknowledgement packets. This is the three-way handshake that is established before a HTTP request is sent. And you can see in the protocol section that after the three uh, TCP packets, there is the HTTP GET request, which is the method uh, that is used to request a resource from the web server. And then the web server responds with the 200 OK status, meaning that the request was successful. And here is the resource which you asked for, which was the website that we requested. And that's it. That's how a website is displayed in your browser. A lot of things happens behind the scenes of how everyday technology works around us. And I hope you learned something new as well. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel as we have a lot more content on the way. I will see you in the next one. Take care.